In this video, you'll learn how to save huge amounts of storage space for your PSP game library by converting your PSP.ISO files into .CHD format. The PPSSPP emulator has just added support for .CHD in the recent version 1.17. And let me tell you that I am absolutely delighted at this news. Let's go over some FAQs and then I'll get straight onto the guide. What is CHD format? CHD stands for Compressed Hunks of Data and is a lossless compression format for CD-based images. It results in largely reduced file sizes for your games. What are the advantages of the CHD format? In my opinion, there are two main advantages. The first is file size reduction. Converting to .CHD will almost always reduce the file size compared to .ISO. In some cases, you can achieve reductions of anywhere from 50 to 70%, and this means that your game library takes up less storage space on your computer, and or you can fit more games on your portable retro gaming device. There are also other benefits to this like faster copying of files over to SD cards and all sorts. The second main benefit is organization. Nearly all emulators for CD-based games now support CHD, including Sega CD, Turbo Graphics, PS1, PS2, GameCube, etc. And this means that all of your games on these CD-based systems, now including PSP, can use one uniform file type. You no longer have to have different file types for every different game system that you own. And there's also no need to have multiple different file types for a single game system like it used to be on PS1. Most systems can now cleanly use .CHD and it's just great to be organized. Are loading times slower with CHD on PSP specifically? The answer is barely. It takes maybe a fraction of a second longer for the emulator to open your game in the first case. And it's a similar story in game. With CHD files, the loading times are a fraction longer, maybe a second or so, but not anything major that you're gonna notice. I'm pretty confident that you won't notice any difference using CHD versus CSO or ISO, and the space savings that you get are definitely worth it. Here's a quick demo using a game with a notoriously long loading time, FIFA 2006. On the top is the ISO, and on the bottom is .CHD. Will my PPSSPP save games and save states still work? Yes, as far as the emulator is concerned, the .CHD and the original file are the same game. Can I use .CHD format on original PSP or PS Vita hardware? And the answer is no. If you play mostly on PSP or Vita hardware, it's best to stick with ISO, CSO, or another supported file format. It's very, very unlikely that .CHD will ever be supported on native hardware. How does .CHD compare to .CSO? In general, .CHD files will have a much, much smaller file sizes than even .CSO, which is already a compressed ISO format. Here is a chart that shows the file size differences between the original .ISO, .CSO, and .CHD of various games so that you can see the difference. As you can see, .CHD wins in terms of file size every single time. Can I convert .CSO to .CHD directly? No, not right now. You'll need to convert your .CSOs to .ISO first instead. There's a quick guide at the end of the video that will show you how to batch convert your .CSO back into .ISO format. And if a tool comes out that lets you convert .CSO into .CHD directly, I'll leave a link to it in the description. Finally, can I use this guide for other CD-based files such as games for Sega CD, PS1, etc? And the answer is yes, this guide will also work for any .Q or .bin file, .GDI or .ISO file. Let me know if you have any further questions in the comment box below. Without further ado, let's get on to the guide. I'm going to be using Windows for this, but versions of CHD Man are available for macOS or Linux too. CHD Man is the tool that we're going to be using to convert our .ISOs into the .CHD format, and you can download it directly from the Recalbox wiki, which is linked in the description box below. This version specifically comes with a few very, very helpful tools for Windows users. Extract the .CHD Man zip somewhere convenient. I'm using the desktop. The resulting files will be chdman.exe, q-gdi-iso to chd.bat, extract chd to q.bat, extract chd to gdi.bat, and a couple of readmes. Create a new folder inside this folder called input. To convert a single game, simply drag and drop the .iso file of your game into the input folder, then double click the q-gdi-iso to chd.bat file. You'll see a terminal window appear that will tell you the progress of the compression. 
and it will probably take a few minutes. Note the ratio value here. The compression ratio is the file size difference between the original file and the converted file. You can think of this as the new file size as a percentage of the original file size. So if the original file was 100 megabytes and the ratio is 60%, that means that the new file would be just about 60 megabytes. You can imagine just how much storage space you can free up on your devices with this. Dissidia 012 Duo Decim Final Fantasy gets a compression ratio of around 57.7%, which is pretty amazing. Now I just wish I could compress the title of the game itself. Oh, there we go, Dissidia 2. Oh, that would have been much easier, wouldn't it? When the compression is complete, you'll see your compressed.chd file in the folder alongside the chd man tools. By the way, always convert your files directly on your PC rather than trying to convert them directly on an SD card or on your device itself. And you'll use this exact same method to convert batches of files too. The QGDI ISO to chd.bat file will pick up on any ISO file or GDI or Q file in its current folder and or any subfolders and will begin a batch conversion. So you can drop any number of your psp.iso files into the input folder, then double click the bat file and there we go. Your converted files are conveniently kept separate from the input files. By the way, the time it takes to convert your files depends on the input file size and your computer's processing power. So be prepared to wait a long time if you're compressing a large number of files. And you should also note that your computer may be slow, laggy or unresponsive during this. And if you're using your PC while it's compressing, the compression is going to take longer to complete. With this in mind, it may be worth doing multiple smaller batches of compressions rather than one huge batch, just so your computer doesn't get bogged down for long periods of time. By the way, you don't actually have to empty the input folder if you don't want to. CHD man will skip any already converted files it finds. And so one last tip here, it is also entirely possible to just drag and drop the unzipped CHD man tools into the same folder containing your entire PSP game library and just run it from there. If you want to convert your entire library all at once, just be prepared to step away from your PC whilst it does its thing. The only other thing you need to do to get your CHD files to work is to make sure that you're running PPSSPP version 1.17. This is relevant for every version, whether it's Windows or Android or anything. Just ensure that you're on at least 1.17, and then the emulator itself will load in your .chd games just like it would any other file format. And like I said earlier, you won't need to worry about your save data or your save states or anything like that. It really is a great addition to this emulator. So that's it for this guide on how to convert your PSP games from .iso format to the compressed .chd format. You can now enjoy vastly smaller file sizes for your PSP game library. Please let me know if you have any further questions in the comment box below, and please like this video and subscribe to RetroBreeze if you found it helpful. And before I go, here's my quick guide on how to convert your existing .cso files back to .iso using CISO GUI. Use the link in the description box below to download the program from the PPSSPP forums. Extract the two files inside and then open cisogui.exe. Drag and drop your .cso files into the program, and they will appear in the list. Click decompress, then yes to overwrite, and then you can click yes to source directory to create the uncompressed files in the same folder that the program is in. Or you can go ahead and click no if you want to choose a specific folder for them. And that's it. This shouldn't take too long at all because there's not really much going on here. But you should now find your uncompressed.iso files in the folder that you selected, or the source folder, and they can now be converted into CHD. And that's this one done. Thank you very much for watching RetroBreeze, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.